Hi. Hi. Good to Hello see you. Hello from London. <laughs> oh my God, am I? So yeah, Luning and I met. Um, how many years ago? Five years ago in London, and you were doing something about art, and we we went to like the Serpentine party together. Yes. And then l u n i n g used to run um, Picasso and the Single Girl. She's still running it. Her blog is yes. really cool, stylish, <laughs> and she travels around the world to um, to different fairs and and art places. So check out her Instagram. And uh, can you uh, tell me more about? What's over? What's happening now? So it's happening. We are locked down, and I actually really enjoy the time. Um, I treat it as a honeymoon period of um, of lockdown um, because, as you know, um, most of the time I work at home. I cover arts and culture, and also I write for Financial Times China. I travel a lot for my work, um, so um, a lot of times involve the socializing and then making the features. But at the moment, like when、um, I couldn't travel, and then oh, actually, I also do some art projects. Like I do exhibitions, and I also do some、um, events in London and also in China. So since the beginning of this year, as you know, like the China has this coronavirus,、um, so they've been like locked down before us. So all my other like offline projects、uh, stopped. So no exhibitions going, and they didn't know whether they're going to continue to do that in November, and also like no travel between China and for this kind of leisure or art events. So for my work is、um, involves online and offline. So all the offline activities stopped since the beginning of this year. So I actually think it's a good time for me to focus on the content online, which is、um, my plan for this year. So at the moment when London got locked down, it didn't really affect me much for my work online.、Oh, the only one thing is I couldn't travel for for my work, so that is a bit hard missing. But apart from that, I found it's a good time for me to concentrate and also to think about what kind of content I want to do. And I actually think it's very it makes me think about the efficiency of work.、Hmm. And、uh, how is it in in China the situation and how and have have you been having conversations with friends and family there?、Um, yes, it's getting better actually. So like people started going out and although they have to wear a mask, and then since the business goes back to normal, almost apart from I think the restaurants or. Stores, shops are open, and but it has a very significant impact on art business, though. As you know, like the Art Basel got cancelled, and then all these galleries they start. They were planning to to open space in Shanghai, and I think they keep postponing. Did、but、you、I、see the online Art Basel? Yes, I did.、Nope. Went to the viewing room. Yeah, they're pretty cool, right? Like they transform、yeah. actually from offline to directly to online. Do you know anything more about that? How? Yeah. Changed. Yeah, I think more galleries started doing this online viewing room now. Yeah, and also at Basel. Although, like, I found each gallery they didn't really have a lot of works to to put in this each online viewing room. But I think one important thing is、um, for this online, it's really like give a very advantage to big galleries because they have、um, the budget to spend on building online viewing room, and also it's a combination of editorial and、um, online viewing room. They need to have a good content, and then they can hire the staff to write about it to to make the content. But then for For sure, like I think, for smaller galleries or medium-sized galleries, they need to go to travel to art fairs, and then they need to meet the new audience, and that has a significant impact on their business. I saw that、um, David Swerner was one of the first to do this online, and then Krakosian also adopted it. So like,、yes. and then the whole art Basel kind of took in, took place. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. I think also like the manner they are going to have this online platform for some smaller galleries is very good for them to do that to support the whole ecosystem and the community. And has it changed the way you usually work in the past, or、um, how are you, you know, coping? It actually has. Yes. So 
before, you know, like even though I work at home, but I go to cafe to to write, and also I travel to write, and I always find an excuse to go out because I thought in order to produce a very good content, original content, I need to have first-hand material. And but during this time, I, it really make me think whether I need to go out, if that's necessary, and then that's really reduce a lot of cost, and also time wise, it save me a lot of time. And I found for the people I want to speak to, I can always find them online. So it really make me think about the efficiency, like how I can do my work more efficiently. And then and because also, of, yeah, yeah also it's, it's necessary to go to a cafe. Oh, it's, I just love the atmosphere of a cafe. But it's a nice atmosphere that we talk like this. You no, know? it's kind of a new experience. It's when you used to do V chat, and yeah. what what did you what did you use when you were telling WeChat. the stories when you were? Oh, uh, WeChat, yeah, WeChat. Yeah, yeah, WeChat stories, right? Yeah, WeChat. And yesterday I found something so funny, like on my WeChat, because yeah. I checked mm -hmm. the payment section, and they yeah. have this antivirus code. So apparently in China they issue this antivirus code. If you like a coronavirus free, I think you got this green, and if you like you have coronavirus positive, and you got this uh, red, and apparently like people cannot really go into restaurants or bars if you are red. So you have a color coding. Yeah, I think so. That's what I heard. Although wow. I was not issued that, so everyone got that uh, health uh, certificate on their phone. I think Facebook should do it, no? Like so that, like, like you know, when when you were safe from something, that it's, it's yeah, like, maybe what's up? Yeah, I'm thinking about the future. I think he's really created this mistrust culture. So you think and, about that. And how are you? Yes. I mean, whenever you go, like. If you have this red color, which means you you got the coronavirus and people don't let you in. I think in the West they probably cannot really do that because it's really infringe this um, equality. I mean equality, democracy. Yeah, I think like because London, you guys kind of. I I heard someone was being punched at Oxford Circus because they were Asian and then wearing masks. I I I started wearing mask when um when the first like the very beginning when is the keep having the Chinese uh, tourists coming to London so I started wearing mask on on tube and I found suddenly like wherever I go I didn't really have any you know like this kind of discrimination or or people really didn't didn't really look at me in a strange way. So probably you know like stories happens every day. So when when something happens like that, the people make a story. But I think this in London is very open, and then people give you the right to wear a mask or not to wear a mask. And can you share more of your experience as uh, when you started as a journalist, and then up until now in this situation, and then how are you seeing like yourself um, proceeding with what everything? Oh, sorry, it's kind of a big question. question. But <laughs> that's a big question. So, um, no, that's a big question. I, I really need to think about that and do a lot of meditation and to put my mind back <laughs> about the future. Are you using the application right now? <laughs> you know, actually, I think for what's happening now is just make people realize we cannot really predict the future. So whenever we make this five years plan or ten years plan, that may not work, right? It's like it got affected by this incident or or this global global events. So what I do is I make like maybe one year plan and think about what I should focus on this year. And then before, um, my focus was mainly on contemporary art, but now, like, I expand more into the larger culture and also society. And apparently, I think in China they are very interested in this um, topic, like a class system, and so like European uh, old money world. And so um, this year, I'm more focused on writing about culture and the uh, class system. Wow, that's interesting. And how how are the um, are you okay? Yep. Yeah. So, so regarding my work before, it's more like focus on writing about the art events and interviewing people. But now I focus more on this society subjects. 
So I feel like I, I, I go back to my school days. I spend a lot of time on research and with books. So when, when if everything is the past, I probably need to spend a lot of time in British Library to do this kind of uh, research. But maybe doing more like a field day visit, it'd be fun. Mm. And then um, that's, that's interesting that you're trying to capture a bigger aspect mm -hmm. of society, like from, you know, cultural aspects, society, or like yeah. how art has influenced it. Um, and how, how do you think artists can um, play a part in, in this, everything that's happening? I, I really think, to be honest, yeah. like, I think art is very secondary. It's not a must to, you know, in this situation, like NHS workers, they are in the front line. And artists give you hope and to cheer you up. Mm. But, but the market is significantly affected by, by the pandemics and then also... Also, the fairs got cancelled, and then if they have this economy, if they have this recession, then do do people really buy art? Oh, so I think is the whole industry is very weak. But now another thing, I, I remember at the beginning of this year, I was having this discussion with people who were saying, um, so art really need to learn from retail business, so how to create the experience. But then that is offline experience. But now when everyone is locked down at home, so we, we really have the experience. So everything is going to go online. And then do people really buy this um, very expensive artworks just straight from online? I mean, for, for um, lower value probably works, but for like more expensive works, I think they need this human interaction and they need to see the, the, the real thing. They need someone like you to translate the language. Translate. I need to write stories. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can you share a, a little bit on what you're writing now? Oh, oh. So yeah. Do you want something um, more serious or not so serious? Both. So the so series, um, I, as for writing for Financial Times China, I, I just did an article on um, school system, on this uh, very English education. So about the pride and the prejudice of British education and about the people sending their children to private school or public school. So that is one piece I just finished. And now my focus is on the surname and whether in, in European, whether surname still matters. So that is a focus on the research. And then the other works I'm doing is um, the not so serious is actually like, um, um, it's not personal, it's very personal, it's the political, as you know. Okay. So that is on the wax culture, wax, the Brazilian wax. I think I really think now, like all the sparklers, so people they don't really get their wax done. Right? Uh, yeah. yeah. So we are actually going back to the 70s when the, everything is like uh, free and, uh, you know, full bush. So, and I started from there and I did a whole research on this wax culture. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I started to learn like from the 90s when it first started, like by these Brazilian uh, seven sisters from Brazil, and they started this alone in Manhattan and then. It's become really popular, but, but that is also the whole like a social and a political backdrop of the 90s with the uh, female empowerment, female empowerment, and also they have a lot of disposable income because the economy was good after the Reagan era and the Clinton, you know, like a Bush era. So that is a very glorious time of the state. And then the, the women, like they, they started the internet and the internet and the circulation form is uh, the people get access to watch porn really easily. So, and then that really affects the whole culture of waxing. But then in the 19, no, no, 19, like 2000, around 2014 or 15, then people started claiming, okay, like a female, they shouldn't feel so inferior because, um, because you, whether you keep you clean or not clean. So, and all these like a Hollywood, Hollywood actress, they started like a provocate for, um, for like a full bush. 
like going back. And also, there's a whole change. There is a whole change of like a man, like in the eighties, only gay men do wax. But now it's the the whole is totally changed. Now it's like a street man doing wax because all this whole pop culture they were like saying if you really like wax, you don't have any hair on your chest. It really shows your muscles. So it's a lot of like a culture and a political elements. In that's what I found. So that is a, another topic I'm writing at the moment. Interesting. And apart from uh, apart yeah. from that, I'm going to do a new content. Because now people really, really, really care about the whole interior, like upgrade their home.、Mm. So I'm doing this content, but this is on my own blog on Picasso and a Single Girl. It's on home and interior and where you can buy affordable artworks and also design pieces. Oh,、um, the last weekend、uh, in FT weekend, it said there's an article about how to make your home like you, you're not living in a cupboard. So. To like you know create space where there's light, there's like energy, there's like you know yeah,、um, you can actually yeah yeah yeah. So、uh, maybe you can bring like the eastern aspect in, in into this. You know how can people live? Because nowadays also people are starting the western people are starting to take a lot of meditation, right? Yeah. Yes, I think so. And、mm. also eastern people, I think it's、uh, what is good is that people really slow down. People really slow like down. slow down their pace and they start to reflect about their life and then meditate. So it's really we don't need to do so fast. We don't need to push so hard. A lot of times we need to focus on ourselves and also focus on our friends rather than like people you're not too close to. So you think that the Chinese people they are being toned down also from this mass production or like very fast-paced work ethics? What I heard, a lot of friends really enjoy cooking at home, and also they really become really zen, and then they do、um, a lot of reading. And but、uh, what I think, like because of China, like the the whole culture is a hardworking, very hardworking culture. So I think once everything goes back to normal, and people will go back to the normal pace, and also they need to really catch up with the what's been left. Um, because everything like closed, so they need to start like making money again, and then, so I I think once ever everything goes back to normal, probably people has to work harder. And there's two more questions I want to ask you. From being a Chinese like background, having a Chinese background, how has this experience affected you? But you're more like a multicultural person, right? But then、uh, reflecting on this, how anything you could share that would be useful. Uh, about on, about how like you you know you you you're talking about social aspects cultural aspects、mm -hmm. but and you're Chinese you're trying to put a voice on something on art and culture、mm -hmm. and um has you, you and you're saying that the the market has moved from you know very people moving very fast now to very slow and then eating at home、mm -hmm. and um are you hoping to um See anything more in the future about what I think about quality, right? People care about quality much more. We realize our cooking is not so bad. Like before, I don't really like cooking. I don't like eating at home. I feel like a housewife. But now I enjoy the process, and I found it's not it's not that bad. And also, like, make me want to like save what I have rather than like I create a lot of waste in the past. And also,、um, also I think that in the future, and、um, people will care about recycling and the environment more.、Mm. Um, this is the sustainability issue, I think. Stay tuned.、Um, Mook will talk about sustainability. So we I, we brief each other before.、Um, <laughs> hopefully, we、we'll、get like the conversation going. And、um, thank you so much for today, Luning. Oh,、so. thank you. Very good to catch up with you. I hope like everything is well there. You're staying safe and、um, you too. Um, stay positive, and、um, hopefully we'll be sharing more things along the way. Yeah, and, and hopefully you know, you know, in Shanghai or Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, we, we hope to be connecting more and more. I think、yes. this is the time to do it. For sure. Yes. Okay. Good to speak to you. Okay.、Bye. Thank you, Luning. Bye.